Before we get into our training video, if by chance you found this video as a recommended video on YouTube, this training video is actually part of an extensive Corel Draw for Beginners training series from AdvancedTShirts.com. We have developed dozens of videos and we also have available on our website downloadable work along files that you can work with in Corel Draw while you're working through the training videos. Easily the best and fastest way to learn. If these videos are helpful to you, please take a second to add a like to the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be notified when we upload new video content. And of course, in the comment section below, you can post your questions or your Corel Draw video tutorial requests. In this video, we'll go over setting up and working with documents in Corel Draw. We'll get started by looking how we can create new documents. First of all, you can start from the document tabs up here and you can go to the plus sign, click on that and the create a new document dialog will come up. You can go to your own custom presets. I have this set to tabloid. You can change your width and your height. You can enter a number of pages, the primary color mode, the rendering resolution and the preview mode. Now you can also get into the color settings. I have this set to simulate color management off in my Corel Draw. We're not going to get into color right now. That'll be for another training series. And I'll collapse that. So if I set this up as a custom document, if I went to custom and I change this to say 13 by 19 and then I clicked on save and I'll call this 13 X 1 9 okay that's now saved as a custom I can select okay and I'll create a new document that is 13 by 19 inches and I'll have that available at the bottom under custom if I want to change my page to that size in the page property bar. Go back here. I can also go to File, New. And I can also go to the standard bar and click on New here. Or I can use the shortcut, Control N, to create a new document. So we can see how we can create a document and then save that as a custom preset for our documents in Corel Draw. We'll scroll down here and take a look at the page property bar. Here we can set the width and the height of our page. Also, if we want our page to be portrait or landscape, if we want all the pages to be that size, or if we want just the current page to be that size, we can set our units. We can set here will be our nudge distance and nudging will cover in another tutorial session and then we have here our duplicate distance and treat all objects as filled is enabled. Now if we think about working with documents here we have the layout menu now if we want to add pages I can go to layout and let's say I'll go to insert page. Now here I can enter the number of pages I want to insert, select whether it's before or after the current page, and my existing page is page one, and that would be the page that I could set to be before or after. Set the page size, once again, width and height, select OK, and we'll add those pages. So I'll enter in here, let's add five pages, and I'll set the Existing page, we can just leave that as one, and then we'll select OK. Now you can see I have five additional pages. I'll go back to page one. We've already covered creating and saving custom pages. So now we'll come down and take a look at working with the document navigator. And that's down here at the bottom. From the document navigator, you can navigate through the pages in a document. For example, I can go here and this will go forward one page to page two. If I click here, I'll go to the last page in the document or page eight. I can go back one page here, 
which would take me back to page 7, or I can go back to page 1. Now here I can add a page after the page that I'm on. If I click that, I'll add another page, and now I'll have nine pages, and there's page 2. Go back to page 1. If I click here, I'll create a page before the page that I have selected, or the page that I'm on, and now I have page 1, and this is on page 2. Now here I could go to page 1, right-click, and I could delete that page. Duplicate that page, insert a page before or after, or rename the page. And I could give this a name of, let's say, my page. Select OK, and I've named the page. Right-click again, and I can delete that page. Now from page 1, if I want to duplicate the page, I can right-click, select Duplicate Page. Now here I have the option, so just copy layers only, or copy layers and their content. If I copy the layers and their content, I'll bring everything from page 1 into the new page 2. If I select just the layers only, I won't bring in the contents or the graphics. So I'll go with layers only, and I'll get a blank page. If I go back to page 1, right-click, duplicate page again, copy layers and their contents, select OK, I'll get a duplicate of page 1 as page 2, as you can see, because I brought all of the graphics into the newly created page. Now if I have a document with multiple pages and I just want to go directly to a specific page, I can left click here on the page numbers. That'll bring up the go to page dialog box. I can enter the page I want to go to, let's say 8. I can click OK or hit enter and I'll go to page 8. So we'll wrap here concerning working with and setting up documents in CorelDRAW, and we'll continue in our next video session.